Thank you very much. Good day, everyone. So yeah, my name is Anastasia Iroha. I'm the head of marketing department here in Gurtam. And what I usually do is I usually promote VLON. But today, my presentation is not about VLON at all. So please, stop me if I slip off uh, and start selling you VLON again. So my presentation today is about the most powerful, the most fascinating telematics crowd we have here. It's about you. So, what about our community? What do we have here? It's a very complicated structure where we have a number of direct partners. We have a huge number of hardware manufacturers, including those one who have their own software and who are basically our direct competitors. But we really cherish them, we really welcome them. You can see them at the expo today. Also, the developers of VLON-based solutions. It's a really huge crowd. And it's also a very complicated one, which means that a partner can be at the same time a software developer or a hardware manufacturer at the same time can be a partner or a competitor can even win the top of hardware in terms of connection to VLON. Can you imagine this? A competitor winning the top um, of hardware connected to VLON. That's really amazing. So as every marketeer knows, uh, the most clickable headings are the one containing numbers. So that is why I decided to put as many numbers as possible. So I would like to amaze you with the 10 facts about our community. So let's the journey begin. How do you think, what does this number stands for? 27,000. Anyway, I'll tell you. It's the number of our priceless connections. So it's the number of contacts we have in our Syrian system. And basically, when I was starting to do this presentation, this number grew by 2,000 already. That's really amazing. So let's, uh, based on this number of data, based on this number of information, we have conducted a very huge uh, study, a very huge research to understand and to measure the community. So I would like to share the facts we figured out. So the first one, imagine the situation that Gurtam have only one partner. It's a real nightmare of Alexander Kuvshinov. So let's look at this guy. So yeah, please meet Carlos. Yes, Carlos is the most widespread name in our community. How do you think, where is Carlos from? Obviously from Russia. A very nice head, I really like it. So Carlos from Russia uses VLON hosting. Carlos also works in, surprise, surprise, fleet management. If we had only one partner, this partner who has 1.5 thousand of units, and this really nice Carlos is an experienced guy, 10 years in business already, and four years with Gurtam. Uh, this guy uh, has the company of nine people somewhere in Russia. What else do we know about Carlos? He uses Teltonica. Uh, Carlos works on the personal brand. And by this, I do not mean that Carlos is updating his LinkedIn page. It means that he's not unfortunately using the VLON name. But he uses one third party app, at least. And this poor, or this strong guy, I'd say, traveled at least four hours to make it to telematics, means Belarus. And he will listen to 15 hours of presentations at telematics and have 19.5 hours of networking. Can you imagine this? Carlos is really great. But thanks God we have this number of partners, not the one. And the profile of partners is really different. So let's have a closer look and deep dive. Uh, but before I start, I just wanted to share these pictures. Is the geography we use. So these are basically the business regions we have. And maybe some names are not really familiar to you. For example, CIS and Russia is the post-Soviet countries or Asia Pacific. I will refer to these names. So please uh, be ready to see these strange letters. But anyway. 
uh, partners. Of course, it goes without saying that we are all working in fleet management and many, many of you are working with logistics companies. But it's not the only, uh, it's not the only niche we are working in. So, uh, let's look at the regions. Americas, both Americas, specialize on asset tracking, while Asia-Pacific Oceania is into personal monitoring. So this is how the region picture looks like. So this is Russia and post-Soviet countries. Among all the regions, agriculture is the most widespread sphere where our partners work, except of the fleet management and logistics, of course. Americas. Americas are very much into asset tracking. So 11% of partners in North America and 7% of partners in Latin America are into asset tracking. What about Asia Pacific? Um, here, the personal monitoring is really popular. And last but not the least, the Middle East and Africa. They are very security-oriented regions. So this is how the map looks like. The third fact. Um, it's about the age of the companies. It also goes without saying that um, different regional markets are on different stage of the development. So the Asia-Pacific countries are the youngest one, and the Russian and post-Soviet countries are among the oldest. So on average, Gurten Partner works in telematics since 2008. Wow, more than 10 years. So this is basically the average number. And here are the distribution between the regions. So the Russian average number is this one, then comes North America, then Europe, then Africa and the Middle East, and then finally Asia Pacific, the youngest companies. Uh, what about the size of the companies? So again, Middle East is something different because they have the biggest companies in our community. While at the same time, the North America's companies are the smallest. So this is how it looks on the map. This is again the Middle East with 25 people working in one company on average. Quite a big number. Followed by CIS, Russia and post-Soviet countries with 20 people on the average in one company of the integrators. At the same time in North America, the average size is four people per company. This very interesting observation uh, can be explained by the fact that in North America, people prefer to outsource the technicians and installers compared with, for example, Russia or Middle East, where everyone works in-house. Yeah, this is the regional distribution globally. So we can see that the companies are really different from region to region, and diversity is really great. So let's move forward and talk about uh, what kind of hardware does these technicians or installers use? It's also a very interesting question, because our, the, after the study, we figured out that three leading hardware brands cover 35% of the community. So does anyone has any idea what kind of um, hardware brands have reached this number of connections to VLON? Any ideas? Teltonica? Nav Telecom and what else? Galileo Sky, any other ideas? Guys, maybe something from here? What kind of? BC. Okay, you're very close to the right answer because here are the winners, the guys who already had more than 100 of thousand connections to VLON. Teltonica, first place. Galileo Sky. And then Nav Telecom. So let's look at the regions. Nav Telecom is concentrated on Russia and post-Soviet countries. So this is the place where they are really strong. At the same time, Galileo Sky has the more diverse uh, geography coverage. So they are also strong in Russia and post-Soviet countries, Middle East, Europe, and Africa. Teltonica is everywhere. But can you imagine the situation uh, we also did the research and uh, opened almost each and every account of VLON to understand um, how many actual accounts are using this hardware. So have a look at this. 44% of our partners have never tried Teltonica. Can you imagine this situation? It's really difficult to imagine. 70% of partners never tried Galileo Sky and 80% of partners never tried Nav Telecom. 
So it means that our partners really like to try different types of hardware. They really like the diversity, and it's really great. Uh, so here at the slide, you can see the list of the most widespread hardware manufacturer brands on VLAN hosting for the last 12 months. So I know that it's difficult to say, but I will read them out. So it's Calamp on the 10th place, then goes Neomatica, followed by Concox, then Huecling, Baltic Car Equipment, then Arusnavi, which is also a fun fact for me because they are our super direct competitors in Russia and they're growing super fast on VLON. So does this really mean that the guys are giving up their main business and becoming our integrator? I'm not sure, but still it's fine. Then comes Ruptele, and then 3 one we already speak about. But it's not something new for you because it's the total number available 24-7 on gurtam.com. As you may know, this year we have the ceremony to award the fastest growing hardware GPS manufacturers top 10. So basically here we have the same approach as for the partner awards. We honor those guys who show the highest, the biggest dynamics. So I really invite you to join the party tomorrow. And here we will really announce the real results, not the, those you can see from uh, Gurtam.com 24-7. But not only trackers are popular among our partners. Also, we know that MDVRs, ADIS uh, are real hype today. So what about our community? Is it really popular among our partners? So the statistic shows that 13% of the partners ever tried uh, video telematics. So these are the most popular types of hardware and brands. Hoven, StreamX, and the Smart Witness. Two first are there on the expo, so you can basically uh, meet the guys and talk to them. And also tomorrow, uh, we'll have panel discussions and presentations about video telematics. So I really encourage you to take the agenda, this blue one, and to find the presentations that are really appealing to you, that will be the most interesting, because we have like nine sections at the same time in parallel. And we are moving forward. Um, and so let's talk about one question that is really important for me because it's about marketing. So Russia and post-Soviet countries use the strengths of VLON brand in the most active way. So yesterday I told you that branding is a thing of vital importance for our market too, for B2B too. Um, we know that VLON is a very strong international brand, so we invest a lot, a lot, a lot of money in marketing to make it really well, uh, well recognized. And that is why I really encourage you to use the brand power of VLON more effective. It, look at the numbers. No, no, it's not the numbers. This is the other thing I wanted to share with you, is that uh, when your clients have the respect to a big brand, they, are, they know that they will get the quality, the functionality, the level of support, and they are not really dependent on price. So if you increase the price, I mean, they treat it okay because they know that the brand is, brand is strong. So yeah, this is the number I wanted to share with you. 80%, 86% of the top 50 use the VLON brand in their communication. And I was thinking, okay, I need to show an example on this. And this is the example. These are the partners from Kazakhstan, Navion. So they were the last one who uh, connected the anniversary unit. So you might know that we are celebrating every anniversary unit, hundreds of thousands. Uh, so yeah, basically the Kazakhstan partner was the last one who we honored. And look at their website. I know it's in Russian, but I'll try to explain. So what did they do? They showed that they're official partners of VLON. They showed that they work with the leading um, software provider on the market, VLON. They also tell uh, the, name of the, um, the name of our software and the logo and say that and prove that it really helps them. So it's the core of their communication. It's just an idea for you to think. Uh, and let's move forward. Um, because we sp spoke about partners, we spoke about hardware manufacturers and our technology partners. So what is left? The developers. The guys who are working uh, on the solutions on top of VLON using VLON API and SDK. So again, Russia and post-Soviet countries 
they love well on APA and are the most um, advanced in development. So now currently we're in contact with 50 partners who integrate VLON with the third party software or create their own VLON or no create their own VLON. No, no, no. <laughs> Not this time. Their own software using VLON API and SDK. So basically we have the section on our website, a catalog, uh, where we carefully um, take these solutions and if they are public, if they are if they can be scaled if they can be used in other countries. We put them on the website. This is the link. You will get all the presentations afterwards, so, so you can go and check it. It's a really very nice one. And the most prominent developments on top of VLON will be also presented tomorrow. So I again encourage you to check the agenda and to find the most interesting sections for you. Uh, on this chart, you can see the geographical distribution. So this is where the majority of solutions on top of VLON come from. And again, half of them are from Russia and post-Soviet countries. Looks really impressive. Another in interesting fact. Every account in VLON has at least one external app. So what are these apps about? Half of the partner apps are integrations with other platforms and reports and systems. So here is Drizzy chart again. You know, I love charts. So here you can see that uh, Almost half of everything is integrations with third-party apps or reporting systems. Let's have a, a closer look. What is this? So the integration of third-party apps can be really diverse. And these are the most prominent examples from my point of view. So these are the accounting systems, such as 1S, which is really crucial for Russian post-Soviet countries, SAAP, Oracle, and other ERPs. Also, it's a transport fraud exchange platforms such as Timocom or Trans.eu or Gatehouse. Also, it's the ride sharing apps such as Quickie. By the way, they will also have the presentation tomorrow. And also, the applications that are essential for fleet managers such as Magenta or Ant Logistics. What about the reporting system? The idea behind is to tailor the information from VLON to the needs of each and every company and each and every business. So here, guys plays with accounts, users, messages, and sensors. They also uh, deliver system administration and analytics. They configure the equipment easier. So you can see that the variety is really very wide. And some of them are on the website. Some of them will be presented tomorrow. So you will have a chance to know them in more details. Uh, and for us, as we would like also to uh, develop, the develop, develop the developers community, sounds strange, but the idea is clear. We really would like to um, support your developers. And that is why this year was the first year when we decided to have Hackathon. So it's a side event of the telematics. It takes place in the event space on the first floor. If you have never been there, please do this. First of all, they have the table soccer. It's a very nice place to visit. And also, they have the best developers from our community working uh, on the uh, application based on VLON. And what is more, they will have the final pitches. Uh, basically, they have three uh, days to uh, come up with the solutions on top of VLON, working 24-7, uh, restless, absolutely. So they will have their pitches on the 1st of August, tomorrow, 12.30 in event sp space on the first floor. So please uh, take one hour of your time and visit them. Should be a very nice show. And the last but not the least fact is of course about telematics because I was really curious to calculate the numbers about this very huge conference. So telematics is the only live platform where IoT experts from 130 countries come together. So let's look at the numbers. It's uh, 620 participants registered, 76 countries attending this time, um, 32 exhibitors of the expo. Look at the number of the alcohol <laughs> we ordered. <laughs> it's really huge. <laughs> what about coffee? Even more to keep you energized all the time, all the day long. And this is food, <laughs> because we know that being hungry, is, when you're hungry, it's not possible to be 
you know, to do good network, you know, to attend the sections. We have two parties. We have two ceremonies, basically the partner boards and the hardware ceremony. Um, we have one round of pitches, I just told you. And we have one group picture that will take place right after my presentation. So, these are the numbers. We played with them and had a lot of fun. Hope you too. Just to sum it up, uh, Gurtam community is a really huge network of partners, hardware manufacturers, developers of the solutions on top of VLON, and even competitors. If we had only one partner, I'm always scared when I say this, if we had only one partner, it would be Carlos from Russia, a very experienced guy using VLON hosting, having 1.5 thousand of units. While the major of partners are into fleet management, um, asset tracking, personal monitoring, and also security are very strong and are really very widespread company profiles. Asia Pacific Oceania is the youngest region in terms of the um, age of the companies, while Russian and post-Soviet countries are the most mature. And American partners have the smallest number of employees. What's more about the hardware? Three major hardware brands have 35% of our community. But you guys really love diversity. And it's very nice. And you are constantly seeking for the options. So the options are there at the hardware expert. Don't miss your chance. Um, the majority of top 50 are using the strengths of VLON brand. And every account on VLON has at least one external app. So in the majority, it's integrations with other platforms or reporting systems. So I hope that the, you will enjoy this conference, the biggest telematics and IoT gathering we have here in Minsk, Belarus. And I would really like to thank you for your attention. And please, enjoy the conference.